Hi, and welcome to another spine tip. We already made a hip spine setup and an inverse kinematic leg setup. So let's make an arm setup this time. An arm that uses forward kinematics is super easy to make in spine. So I'll make it more interesting by adding a muscle to our arm. First, let's create the initial setup for the arm. Select the root bone and click to create the shoulder bone, then hold Ctrl, Command on Mac, and click on the region attachment. Release Ctrl, then press the left mouse button and drag to create the arm bone. Hold Ctrl again and click on the forearm attachment. Then press and drag to create the forearm bone and finish off with the bone for the hand. Let's keep the project clean and rename the bone to shoulder and forearm to to hand. For the bicep muscle, we will add an IK constraint that starts from the shoulder and targets the forearm bone to simulate the muscle contraction. First, select the shoulder bone as the parent, then create two bones, one a child of the other, by following the arc to keep the similar shape. Make sure the second one ends touching the forearm bone. With the second bone still selected, click New Bone to create a bone at the tip. This will be the IK target bone, so we'll move it to the forearm and rename it. Now we can select the shoulder 2 and shoulder 3 bones and click new IK constraint. That's it, our setup is done. Check it out in animate mode. We have a flexing bicep. Let's key the arm flexing so we can test the mesh weights later on. We could make a similar shoulder rig, but I will leave this for the next time. To finish our arm, we can make meshes out of the region attachments. Back in setup mode, select the arm region attachment and check mesh. Click edit mesh, then trace to get it done quickly. Great, it looks good, just a bit of adjusting. We can delete the vertices where we don't need the mesh to bend. In this case, we don't need very many vertices to achieve a good result. Now let's do the same with the forearm. With the meshes ready, we can bind them to the bones. Select shoulder, shoulder 2 and shoulder 3 and the arm and forearm bones and bind them to the arm mesh. Then select shoulder 3, arm, forearm and the hand bones and bind them to the forearm mesh. Let's go to the animate mode and check how the mesh is bending so we can fix the weights. Alright, a bit of adjusting here and there. Making an animation that goes through the full range of motion is a great way to adjust your weights. Here I will set the weights for the arm and shoulder tree vertices around the shoulder so that when the arm bends the shoulder muscles are also raised. Also I will set the weights for the shoulder 2 and shoulder tree vertices around the arm joint so that they are pulled toward the muscle when it bulges. The elbow needs to be more or less fixed, so it will be mostly influenced by the arm bone. There we go, we have an arm with a bicep muscle that flexes automatically. This is a simple and fast setup that can add a subtle lifelike quality to our rigs, without complicating the animation process. Until next time, have fun and happy animating!